Hey folks, Dad here with Elevation Diecast Racing. Got another channel arriving here at Mile High Raceway. And they are here to claim the track record at Mile High Raceway for stocks and for mods. You might have guessed it. It's Blue Line in the house. He sends to us his stocks. Fast and Furious, number 46. Weighing in at 61.6 grams, sixth overall at Blue Line Racing. He sends a Blue Noodle Head, 69.1 grams, seventh overall at Blue Line Racing. And another Fast and Furious Mustang, number 47, 61.1 grams, eighth overall at Blue Line Racing. Those two Mustangs raced at Scale Racing, and we know what they did. Noodle Head. It has never been seen. You're seeing him here first at Mile High Raceway. He also sent in a mod. It is a 73 Ford Grand Torino. 146.7 grams. This is Blue Line Racing. Times to keep out for. Keep an eye out for. The track records here at Mile High Raceway. Set on the 15th. And it was uh, the Black with Flames Camaro by Scale Racing Channel, setting a 2055 for the stock and the modified record Ford F Series Real Toy Truck 2038, set by Diecast Show Customs on that same day. So, those are the times we're looking for stock sub 2055 and sub 2038 for the mod. Without any further ado, I'm going to run two passes down each lane for each car, and that's going to give us an average. This is the eighth overall Mustang, number 47. 2047, pass number two, 2050. So the record has already been broken with a 2047. We're just going to get an average now after four runs. 2048, pass number four. 2051. Fastest run, 2047, setting the record for a stock car at Mile High Raceway. Average run after four laps, 2049. Next up is the Blue Noodlehead, run number one. 2044. Resetting the record. Pass number two. 2051. 2041. Pass number four. 2052. After four runs, the fastest run being at 2041, resetting the record, giving us an average of 2047. And if you can't believe it can't get any faster, let's take a look at this next run from his sixth overall in his lineup. 2048, second pass. 2047. And now that I look at it, this would have to be 46 and this would have to be 47. And there you go. Pass number three. 2045, final pass. 2048. Sorry about the delay. 2048. Okay, after four runs, fastest time recorded 2045, and those runs average out to 2047, tying the average he ran for the noodle head. So that'll give you an idea of what those three cars are running. And there is the track record for stock. Now set by the Blue Noodle Head at Blue Line 2041. It's a pretty high mark to shoot for. Johnny Lightning Class by the Black with Flames Camaro, still held by Scale Racing Channel with a 2055. At 146 grams, this is what led me to reinforce my backstop. It is safe, and it will come to a dead stop. 
as we are about to find out. Well, let's get back up top and let it drop. That sounded like a freight train, 2020, oh my lanta. It's like picking up a brick. But it sounds so good going down the track. 2022. And I don't see any need to go any further with that. That is going to be the benchmark here at mile high for sure. At least I know what to shoot for, right? <laughs> Very good runs over at Brewline. Thank you for sending these on. And um, this is what we're shooting for. If you send a vehicle here to race at Mile High Raceway and you want to challenge for the record, you're looking at the times that you need to be shooting for. Everybody's fast at home. But what matters is how close are you to the record? Now let's get on to some bonus racing. And there you have it. The modified record has been set by the, nine, uh, the 73 Ford Torino 2020. Those are some high marks, boys. So as of right now, um, the fastest I have um, worked up anyway is this funny car. He sits number five in the top tier. And he don't even come close. Oh, my lanta. 43 to 72. Close to that time, 51 to 61, still not good enough. So let's see what he does against my number one. It is the Blackwood Flames Camaro, 60.5 grams. Let's see what happens. Good race, 205.2. Wow, that's the fastest. That just broke the Johnny Lightning record. Are you seeing this? 205 0 to 5 2. Let's swap them. And I'm not going to lie, it feels good to have a track record somewhere. At least at my own track, I have something. Whoo, what a run. That's the fastest that car has ever ran. Let's switch lanes and see if it can beat this noodle head. Camaro needs to beat a 252. Can he do it? No. Whew. Very, very good. And this is the number 47. This is your fastest uh, white whale. Let's see if what happens here. Hmm, 9,000 speed. 2046, the time to beat for the Camaro. He's keeping up, but he can't catch him. Very good. And I don't have anything nearly that heavy yet, but I know one of you out there thought it. Want to see it. I want to see it. Whitey's only 78.5. Giving up a lot of weight to Fat Boy Torino here. Just because I want to see it. Why not? And so do you. Whoo! 25 thousandths. Oh, my Lanta, son. 2025. And a 25,000 speed. Oh, my Lanta. Just outlandish. But that is not bad. It's the best white he's ran in a long time. He's liking the new Elevation Garage. So, that's very good, Mr. Tim. At Blue Line Racing. You are the man, and we are all gunning for your records. I can tell you that. I'm going to go on a building binge. <laughs> it's going to take some time, some time, some trials, some errors, going through car after car, error after car, after trial, after scrapping it, after taking apart, dismantling cars. Robbing wheels, farming, it just goes on and on and on. From all of us here at Elevation Diecast Racing, if you haven't built a fast car yet, keep building. <laughs>